once you have finished marking out both of your legs for frame A, just place both of them on your bench, get them flush on the, on the end, and check that all of the lines match up. If there's a problem here, if something doesn't match up, you can fix it now quite easily. If you start cutting everything out and you, then you find it doesn't match, when you go to put your frame together, it won't fit nicely, it won't be square, and you're going to have some problems down the track. The next thing to mark out is the tenon. So the tenon is the other half of the mortise and tenon, and we're going to cut out our, our tenon here, which will slot into the mortise there, okay? Now, when we mark this out, the tenon will be, uh, it will have to be six mil, because our mortise here is six mil. And let's start marking this out. Grab your other piece, okay, and your tri-square. So just sit that there. And again, with your steel rule, slide that up all the way to your steel rule is hard up alongside your pine. And now all those three, those two surfaces are flush. So we'll pull these two off and let's mark that. Marking out, take your time when you mark things out. Um, it does have to be accurate, okay? If you mark everything out and it's wrong, it doesn't matter how good your cuts are, it's still not going to fit together. So really take your time. I've done that side, I'm going to mark the same on this opposite side. So this is for the support rail. I always work off that same line, that way less chance of error. So we have now, that line should be, from, from the end grain, our material thickness is 19 mil, and that line should be roughly 20 mil from the end of my material, and the same here, and that goes all the way around. From here, we are going to mark our lines so we can determine where our mortise will be. Place your work in the vise, like so. And a little bit of maths again. Our material is 19 mil thick. We need to take the thickness of our tenon away from that. So if we take, so if we take six away from 19, that gives us 13. And then what we have to do is we have to halve that. So half of that is 6.5. So grab your steel rule and your marking gauge and set that to 6.5. Before we go and mark out any lines, we've scribed too many lines, what I need you to do is grabbing your marking gauge just at the finish line, put a dot, okay, and turn around and do the same directly opposite. So I have two dots like that. And from here, grab your six mil, get your six mil chisel and just check that that six mil chisel fits in between both of those dots. If it doesn't, you need to recheck your marking gauge. Check that you've measured that correctly and set it up correctly. This one here is fine, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and scribe my lines. Okay, so I've got my finish point there. Just drag that down and make sure that the stock of my marking gauge runs alongside the edge of my timber. Turn this around, do the same. End grain is a little bit tricky like we had before. I have the, the pin on an angle, I just drag the pin. If you have it perpendicular or at a right angle, it will, it just doesn't go through that timber as nicely. So have the pin dragging there. Okay, and I'll turn that around and do the other side. And we finally do the opposite side.
Once we've done that, let's pencil our scribe lines in. And mark my waist. So just place a couple of crosses through the part that I'm going to cut off. That just helps me to visualize when I start to cut this out, where I need to cut. That there is the tenon marked out, and that's what it will look like. Put some crosses on here as well. We're going to do the same to the opposite side. That's now your support rail, what it should look like. You have a tenon on either side. They will fit into the mortise. The next thing I'm going to mark out is the top of the frame, which is the seat. Okay, and that will be a bridle joint. So we will mark out the bridle joint here. It's important to understand and to know that this measurement for frame A is going to be different on frame B. So just make sure you're referring to the plans because frame B fits inside frame A. Firstly, what we're going to do is grab your steel rule, 30 mil from the end. So just place a mark like so, like that. And we're gonna turn it around and do the same to the opposite side. So 30 mil here. And we will grab our tri-square and square those measurements off on both sides. Let's extend these lines all the way around. From here, we're going to mark another line and that will be the distance, or well, the distance will be the thickness of our leg. That should be 19. So place this flat on the bench, grab your leg piece, just lay it on its end, grab your square, slide, it might be difficult to see, but slide your square and that should be moving now that leg piece until we can only see our pencil mark. Okay, I can only see a pencil mark here. I'm going to take the leg away and I'm going to mark that in. Let's do the same to the opposite side. Okay, try square leg piece, slide that up. And I can just see my pencil mark. Take that away and pencil that in. Let's extend that line all the way around now. Your top of your frame should now look like that. So we have a distance, our first line is 30 mil from the end, and the next one is another 19 mil apart from the first one. The next thing is to mark out the bridle joint, the width of those. So just remember the leg, so the bridle joint, that will be fitting into this part here, okay? Set your marking gauge to 
14 mil. Make sure this is accurate. Okay, needs to just match. So just double check on your leg, the brighter joint on your legs. Place that in the vise. And repeat that same process we did by just checking. Just check with your marking gauge. Put a dot on the end point. Like that. And the chisel you'll use is the 13 mil. There should be, it should fit easily or comfortably inside there. So that's a 13 mil. Our spacing's actually 14 mil. I'm happy with that, that it's all set up correctly. So let's scribe those lines. And pencil it in. Turn this over and do the same on the opposite side. And again, on our other side, let's mark out that top frame should now look like that, marked out on both sides and just mark your waist. So the waist is the section that we're going to cut out. Okay. That's all the marking out that you should need to do for frame A. A couple of things before we move on, just double check that all of your lines match up on both of your legs. Very important. If it doesn't match up, it's easier to fix now before you've cut anything out. You can just simply rub out your marks and redo them. Also check with your top seat and the rail. Just make sure that your lines all match up there, okay? These will be fitting in down the bottom. So it goes like so. That one goes in there and there. The next thing you will be doing is doing the exact same thing for frame B, just a couple of measurements are different for this middle, that bottom rail there. 